While George Floyd's protests across the nation have reignited an old debate about Confederate statues in the Felicianas. Fox 44's Kara St. Cyr has more on why some residents want these statues taken down. Erected by the United Daughters of the Confederacy in 1909, this statue represents a memory worth holding on to for some. Take those monuments down. But others in the Felicianas think the statue is a relic of racial division. I understand that heritage, but it was a heritage of hate and oppression. And we were on the other side of that oppression. We felt the pain. Patrick Washington's request isn't new. Several attempts have been made to take this statue and the one in West Feliciana down. George Floyd's death reignited the flame, and now Washington has a petition. George Ferguson is signing it. If that statue went there, I think it would be a lot better in the courthouse. You'll get more justice. But as long as that Confederate st statue there, <laughs> it's not going to be the right justice in East Feliciana. For Ferguson and Washington, both statues have become an ethical issue. It was heritage. Of course, not everyone sees it that way. I don't see where it's hurting anybody, but if that's what makes peace in the community, I have to take it down, but just don't break it up and save it. Beth Dawson, a daughter of the Confederacy, says these monuments are meant to honor, but she doesn't want to start a divide. Instead, she wants a truce. Put it somewhere else. Like this cemetery used during the Civil War. The argument persists and likely will even after this debate is settled, but the conversation has started to brew. The East Feliciana police jury is discussing the Clinton statue on Monday. Both sides 